This is the uh, end of course, uh, not end of course, sorry, the eighth grade practice test for math for TCAP. This is question number eight. I couldn't get it all on the screen, so I'm going to try my best to sort of make it look like it's all there. The question itself asks, or, or says, the diagram below shows the path Maya took to get from point M to point T. So that's the question. So I'm going to click through the question real fast. So here's the actual question. If we start to look at what we're given, you can see that circle or in a nice big box to be very obvious, they put the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. It's right here. As a little hint, if they give it to you, you're probably going to end up using it unless there's some other way that you can figure out how to do it. Now, the beautiful thing about this is that it's very easy to figure out how to solve it from here. So I'm going to write it down over to the right a little bit so I have some room to work this problem. Now, I'm going to kind of make a temporary right angle right here, and I'm going to do that for a very specific reason. In order to figure out the closest distance from M to T, that would be this long side right here. That's the distance that I'm looking for. Now, in order to figure out if that's the A, uh, the A squared, or the A side, the B side, or the C side, not the kind with the ocean, but like the side that's labeled C, I'm going to touch the right angle or kind of look at where the right angle is located. So I'm going to put my finger right here. The two sides that make it up are the A squared and the B squared, or the A side and the B side, I should say. So the two sides that make that up would be those two sides. So one of those two sides is here and the other is right here. So those are the two sides that I need. Now to find out how long they are, or the distance, or the length of those sides, all I have to do is count. It's very simple. So I'm counting from 2 up to 10. So I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or you could do 10 minus 2 is 8. Whatever you want to do. I'm more of a counter in general, so I tend to do that. So for my A side, and you could put it as the A side or the B side, I'm going to put 8. For my B side, I'm going to do that counting thing again. I'm down at 2, and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this side, I'm going to have as being 12. Or you could do the 14 minus 2 thing and find it to be 12. Whatever you want to do, plug it in right there. Now I'm just going to solve for the C side. I have to go in and type in 8 squared, however a calculator does that. I, t I tend not to use the calculator in this type of question because I have no idea where the buttons are that you're on the calculator you're using. So I get 64 there. And then for 112, or 12 squared, I'm sorry, I was thinking ahead to the answer, uh, I'm going to do 144. Now, I'm solving an equation here, so I'm going to combine like terms on the same side. So 64 plus 144 gives me 208. And now I'm down to that last step. Now, it says c squared. I can't leave c squared because c squared would be this big gigantic square that I can't even draw on the board. It's even funnier if you saw me standing here because I'm not very tall, so I had to like stand on tiptoes to even make that. That would be C squared. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm only looking for the little green part right there, just that part. So uh, in order to do that, I need to find the square root because if you were making a plant that was a square, this would be the this length of the side would be the root. So I'm going to take square root here. So when I type in 208 and I take that square root, the answer that I get for C is 14.4, I'm going to round it to the tenths place here, so the correct answer for this question, number 8, is G. It's, a really, it's really not that complicated if you just sort of count a little bit and think about it. The more you write on your paper, the better you'll do, just in general. I mean, you could try to pretend like it's really easy to be smart. It's also really easy to look foolish when you make careless mistakes that way. So write things down. It makes your life better.